Ba -da -da. Oh look, Sonic's still running. All right, let's go to the special stage. Oh crap. Let's just contra and get in the continue. There we go. Now just carefully maneuver crap. Carefully maneuver through the level. Come on. There we go. Oh come on! Bullshit! There we go. Oh crap. You know what? Screw the extra life. We need to get out of here. There we go. Yeah, I know, I know. Robotnik is watching me even in ring heaven. So we go to the boss stage. I think there's a hidden extra life hidden. Oh yeah, there is somewhere. Oh, there we go. Get up there, Sonic. Okay, for this boss battle, Robotnik will drop these steel balls, which will roll across the platform you're standing on, and you just have to hit him. But you can't, but you gotta be careful when hitting him because, one, you might run into the ball when he's shooting it, or two, you'll ricochet into one of the steel balls like I just did there. That's kind of what makes this boss bullshitty, but... Oh, thank God. I thought for a second I was going to die. Because it keeps going with this whole jump upwards theme. Oh, careful. Careful. I think he can also be killed by the ball's explosion. Careful. Oh, damn it! I knew that was a risky move. I knew that I shouldn't have done that. Okay, here we go. Come on, Robotnik. Wow, that, I got lucky on that one. Ow. Why did I say ow? <laughs> Come on. Oh, that was close. Oh yeah, we got him. We got him. And we have free jungle zone. Thank God for the really big time bonus. And now we go to Labyrinth Zone! And this zone is just bit as big of a bitch in this version as it was in the Genesis version. But the only thing that makes this version better is that the music is like 100 times better than on the Genesis version. Like, in the Genesis version, I didn't care for the music. But... I, it's total opposite in this version because I consider this to be the best song in the entire game. And of course, you gotta follow the breathing rule. Okay, quit doing that. Getting on my nerves. There we go. Better get a bowl. Yeah, just in time, too. So this actually is pretty faithful to the original Labyrinth Zone. I mean, the only thing that are things that are missing are probably the um, the vents that take you to other parts of the level where you can like grab onto bars or something. I don't know exactly what to call them, but you get the idea. And the spikes make a dramatic sound whenever they go up. And I just got hit by it twice. Come on, give me a bubble. There we go. We gotta make it this time. You took away my shield, you took away my uh, rings, but you will not take away my life.
Gotta take a risk here. There we go. Okay, here in this area, you basically have to, um, trek the, uh, I don't know, the Sphere Badnik into shooting all of its spiked balls at you, and then run away. Grab a bubble, jump up there, and kill him. That's all you gotta do. Come on, give me an air bubble. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you, you get it an unusually long amount of time before you drown. Not sure why that is, but... Hey, if it benefits the player, it's fine with me. Come on. Give me a bubble. Yo, bubble. Anytime now. Bubble! Seriously! I'm gonna die here! Oh, thank you. Jeez, bubbles can be assholes. Oh crap, Roto Disc. Ha ha. Careful. Get the shield. Crap! Well, that was a useless venture. I mean, I got a few rings out of it, but the main, the big prize was the barrier, and I lost it to the Roto Disc. Come on, there we go. Got a cute couple of rings there. I'm not gonna even bother with that single ring. Crap! Okay, Sonic, you need to land on the platform, all right? You do realize that you can't swim in this shit, right? At least you're not freaking out about it like you were in Sonic X, God. Well, damn it. Did I mention that you can't get any rings at one two? You can't get any rings back in this game. I should have told you that. You probably figured it out, but I just wanted to let you know that. And wow, just when I'm about to, wow, they a generous ten ring offer. I mean, it's not going to get me into the special zone, but hey, I can use the ring bonus. Okay. Second zone's pretty much the same as the first. I mean, it's not its not any different from... You know what? Screw it. I think the only thing you get there is like an extra... Like tw like 20 rings and a shield, but... Considering the spike pits I have to go through, it's not worth it. And I should also bring up that, um... In this game, if you touch the sides of the spikes, you get hurt. Makes a lot of sense, right? Oh, by the way, that is the only Burrow bot in the entire game. So, congratulations, I just wiped out the entire Burrowbot species. I mean, sure, Robotnik can just make more, but he doesn't seem to care since he only made one of them. I mean, in the Game Gear version, he makes more of them, but... Still, Burrowbots were kind of effective in the Genesis version. I figured he'd want to make more of those. They had a sense of stealth. Well, no, they didn't. They just used the element of surprise. Which, I guess, can be associated with stealth, but... I'm wondering if that sentence I just said made any sense at all. Come on. Well, we're gonna have to pray to God that I get bubbles, and now I gotta pray that there's a ring, okay, there's rings nearby, but yeah, they're over a spike pit. And congrats, well, I just hit it, got a few more from it. Okay, careful. Ow, that was a poorly timed jump. Okay, I just gotta, you know what, I might as well get a bubble. Bubble. Fire, damn it. There we go.
I think the timer actually goes off faster. So maybe you do get the same amount of air time as you did in the Genesis version, but it's just programmed weird. And you're probably asking yourself, where's the Chaos Emerald in this level? Well, I'll, t I'll tell you where, but first, we have to get the Invincibility Box. This is essential to getting the Chaos Emerald. Come on, we gotta make, we gotta get there quickly. We gotta make it, we gotta make it. And, yep, it was in a bed of spikes, which can only be accessed through invincibility. Very clever hiding spot. 